I didn't even know what a PhD was when I was younger, so I had no clue that this is where I would end up. Going back for my PhD is the hardest thing I've done because I do have three children, and I do have a husband, and I do work full time. Right now, I'm working on my PhD. When you get to the dissertation, that's where a lot of people start to drop off. You had that little voice in the back of your head saying, no, you're not gonna make it, you're not gonna do it. So this past summer, me and two other doctoral candidates traveled the country and interviewed different leaders who have all sorts of different doctoral degrees. In all different kinds of fields. They're doing amazing things in the world. So we centered our interviews around three things. First, you make a decision to, okay, I wanna go get this degree. And then once you got into the program, how did you make it? How did you get through it? How do I survive this program? Because I can't tell you how many times I've thought about dropping out. And then once you finished your doctoral degree, what was next? What in the world are you gonna do with it? That's kind of the doctoral journey. Who do I want to be in this world as someone who has a doctoral degree? In a lot of fields, the only reason to get a PhD is to become an academic professor. But a lot of the people that we interviewed were not academic professors. So it was like a really great opportunity to see how can you take this degree and apply it and make a difference in this world.